Algeria is a resource-rich, um, huge country in North Africa on the southern Mediterranean, and it plays a very strong role in regional diplomacy and um, had weathered the Arab Spring without any real um, upheaval, uh, which was you know, a great relief to the country, which has been on a course of stability and had a, a high degree of security even compared to, to Europe um, for the past uh, five to ten years. Um, and now Algeria is heading into a phase where it faces severe um, economic challenges linked to the drop in oil prices in 2014. And these challenges are really bringing Algeria face to face with the need to transform its economy and move away from a dependence on hydrocarbons and invest more in productive capabilities. So it's really an opportunity to diversify its economy, but it's also a very difficult economic transition to make at a time when the political situation is a bit unclear and there's uncertainty surrounding succession. In order to push through a diversification program, which is an immense challenge, there needs to be a real strong sort of consensus and strategy for, for reform. In terms of going up against vested economic interests and risking alienating large swaths of the population who are very dependent on government subsidies, the challenges of reforming the economy are certainly considerable. One area that Algeria has had success in reforming has been in its security sector. So it has pushed through um, professionalizing reforms in terms of its um, security services and in terms of its army and police. If we see the same political will for change in the economy, um, I think we can move towards, Algeria can move towards the kind of diversification that it needs to um, undertake, but it must be very careful to do so in a way that doesn't open the floodgates for corruption on the one hand or for um, setting off uh, waves of popular resistance to dramatic cuts on the other. Thank you.